I'm Ram Ramakrishnan, the success coach. Why I call myself as a success coach? In the year 1984, I started my career as a part-time typist. I moved up in the corporate ladder, worked as the vice president for the third largest IT services company in India. In my global corporate experience of 34 years, I worked in eight different multinational organizations and Indian big organizations. In the last five years, as a consultant and a success coach, I helped many leaders and business owners to realize their dream. Putting together all my experience, I have come up with this three-step success framework along with 12 different processes what we need to go through to make success as a habit. Success comes for those people taking that action in the right direction. Our entire program is focused on how we can help you to come out of your comfort zone and unleash your potential to realize your dream. I am Ram Ramakrishnan, the success coach. Why I call myself as a success coach? In the year 1984, I started my career as a part-time typist. I moved up in the corporate ladder, worked as the vice president for the third largest IT services company in India. In my global corporate experience of 34 years, I worked in eight different multinational organizations and in Indian big organizations. In the last five years, as a consultant and a success coach, I helped many leaders and business owners to realize their dream. Putting together all my experience, I have come up with this three-step success framework along with 12 different processes what we need to go through to make success as a habit. Success comes for those people taking that action in the right direction. Our entire program is focused on how we can help you to come out of your comfort zone and unleash your potential to realize your dream. I am Ram Ramakrishnan, the success coach. Why I call myself as a success coach? In the year 1984, I started my career as a part-time typist. I moved up in the corporate ladder, worked as the vice president for the third largest IT services company in India. In my global corporate experience of 34 years, I worked in eight different multinational organizations and in Indian big organizations. In the last five years, as a consultant and a success coach, I helped many leaders and business owners to realize their dream. Putting together all my experience, I have come up with this three-step success framework along with 12 different processes what we need to go through to make 
success as a habit. Success comes for those people taking that action in the right direction. Our entire program is focused on how we can help you to come out of your comfort zone and unleash your potential to realize your dream. We'll just wait for a minute or so and start the session.
my modibel, right? Yes, sir. Ramakrishnan, the success coach. Why I call myself as the success coach? In the year 1984, I started. I'm Ram Ram Krishnan the success coach the video why i call Clean. myself as a success coach in the year 1984 you're able to get video voice also right yes sir it is very very clear i am ram ram krishnan the success coach why i call myself as a success coach in the year 1984, I started my career as a part-time typist. I moved up in the corporate ladder, worked as the vice president for the third largest IT services company in India. In my global corporate experience of 34 years, I worked in eight different multinational organizations and in Indian big organizations. In the last five years as a consultant and the success coach i helped many leaders and business owners to realize their dream putting together all my experience i have come up with this three step success framework along with 12 different processes one need to go through to make success as a habit. Success comes for those people taking that action in the right direction. Our entire program is focused on how we can help you to come out of your comfort zone and unleash your potential to realize your dream. Imagine that you got all the tools that would help you to succeed in all your endeavors. How would you feel if that happens? It's amazing, right? Who here does not want success? Each and every one, we look forward to succeed in all our endeavors, whatever we do. It's exactly 10, 15 a.m. on 23rd of July, 2023, Sunday. Happy morning to each and one of you. You joining this session here in live with me on the Zoom or on live on YouTube. That itself shows your commitment to the value of lifelong learning. Lifelong learning is something we need to adapt and also have that open mind to learn from the experiences of others. Today, because of the technology, we can do many things. One is we can get people across the country, across the globe at a time to listen to us and deliver this lecture. We also can parallelly get into other social medias like YouTube and others go live. And you have those recording which is available to look at you at your leisure time and the time you would like to put for your learning. In the next two hours, 
Let's explore the three-step success framework. And I assure you, at the end of the session, you will at least have one or two points that you can take back home and straight away implement in your work area. Are you all ready? Are you looking forward to the proven and tested framework? Whatever I am going to talk about, it is something which I have used and given result to me. That is where I'm asking, are you ready to look for a proven and tested framework? Are you ready to learn from my experiences? Some of the points which I am going to discuss and explain to you today may look very, very simple. Many times the simple is profound. I'm sure you all agree with me. The simple things many times are profound. We know all about it, but when someone is telling that, we start thinking, our light bulb start thinking about it and our thinking cat had start activating it. That is where it's important we know about those simple things as well. What is success according to you? Do you want to say what is success or here on the Zoom or on the YouTube? I will not be able to go and see. You can leave a comment. See, success means many things, different things for different people. Someone's success may not be your thing. Like that, success means different things to different people. Before we get into understand what is success, irrespective of whatever you do, what is success, what we will do is let us understand some of the myths about the success. The first myth is, it is not for everyone. And people will say, all of a sudden, you wanted to do something, start something. This happened when I was in my initial point of an employment. Uh, when I first employment to the second employment, when I wanted to change, my father was a traditional person. He never heard of people changing jobs. Somebody joins an organization and he stays there for till retirement and moves out. It was a big shock. He said, it is not done. And here also, it is not, we feel that success is not for everyone. It is only for some select kind of a people. Not everybody con success. That is the definitely a myth. You will understand later when I am explaining about my own story, why this is so powerful and clear. Second, we see only extroverts can succeed. We say that if someone is an extrovert, then only the success can come. The reserved people cannot succeed. This is also not true. All along in life, I was a reserved person. This is not true and you can succeed. The third one is, is a very dangerous thing. Once you achieve a success on something, we all feel that that is the end of it. We achieve. Success is a journey. It is not a destination. Moment you say achieving after that, I have done this. That is good. You need to celebrate it. No doubt about it. But it is forever. Success is, you can't say that once you achieve that success, is going to stay forever. If some people thought about it, so much of technological innovation could not have come. We all celebrated the first time cell phone came in. It weighed almost close to a kg. And today, what you see, lightweight in grams, we will look at it. 
because if we stayed there and we would be carrying a weight lifting kind of a heavy phones on our hand so that is the myth we need to come out of that now moving on to what is success so people see success is like an iceberg what people see is the tip of the iceberg to achieve that success what all things goes behind that that is only known to the person who achieved that success it is you and me only will know you go back and look at someone and appreciated saying that you getting a promotion someone appreciated you getting something uh, examination or something you got it done by someone what you everybody sees and appreciate is that tip of the iceberg what it goes on the top of it but it has got so much of work let us take someone who has run the 100 meter sprint race we say that he is done and he completed 100 meter in a record time but behind that what all are there hard work persistence and vision why 100 meter nish because he wanted 100 meter why can't he run maratha he found that is his area he wants to look at and he looked at his own strength and weaknesses opportunities and threat then the mindset a winning mindset is most important and you need to have that mindset goal priority then if we have decided that and i am sure that person will run 10000 miles or more than thousands of miles before achieving that feat at the end of it getting into the success yeah so that is what we look at but the success doesn't come what people don't see is what that is the person who succeeded in that knows about it how much of a work one need to go through to achieve the success let's look at what is success this i have put based on my experiences of four decades wherein you attempting to move forward is a success you have a goal you are taking that first step towards that goal what you want to achieve itself is the success here let me explain this with an example from my professional experience in 1995 i joined the corporate real estate facilities and administration function that time the image of that function was saying that it is the thankless job and anyone does not want to do anything in the organization they don't like doing it they will push that to the function so i coming from a background of processes and some of the thing prior to working in human resources and training function i said why don't we look at something like that what is the in scope of our activities what is the out of the scope of activity then each of the activity what we do why don't we draw up a processes very clearly system by processes and system then also go back there are request and people put in as an administration facilities function it is the front end for employees why don't we put some kind of a service level agreements operating level agreements this is what i started doing at this first step forward towards that that point of time people say that in the services function you can't measure 
It can't be measured. You can't have a processes and system. That is where you thinking something you want to do, making that first step towards that itself is the success. Other thing also, you put a lot of goals in your life, especially the health goal everybody sets in the beginning of the year as a resolution. And when you make a resolution, start doing it. Day one, you may not go and achieve the result what you want to achieve. Tying your shoes, getting out for a small 100 meter walk, that itself is the success moving, attempting to move forward to your goal. Those tiny steps, what you take is the success. Second, staying true to core beliefs and values. See, each one of us have got certain core beliefs and values that is dear to us. So this is one of the powerful exercise which I can help you at a later point of it to do that if you are interested in trying to understand what is that golden vibe of yours. That is what makes us start moving. Here, the values are something even if your life is a threat, you don't give up. This is what I learned from my mentor, one of the mentor, Apres Acharya. He is the Milt, Miltonian. He, he has uh, established Leadership Institute almost 50 years back. He used to say this. Here, again, I would like to give an example, always example and your real life thing, what you have done makes the understanding better. I was working in the multinational organization in charge of the transport. One of the rule in the organization and the process defined was if the leadership team is using the company transportation, they should not climb the conveyance allowances. If they are climbing the conveyance allowance, vice versa, they are not entitled to get into the company transport. Some of the leaders in the organization, including my own boss, they were not following this rule. After observing this, I could have kept quiet, saying that it is, my boss is also doing it, it is okay, fairly, it is fine. But I didn't do that. I took it up to my boss's boss and had a discussion with him saying, this is what is happening. You may have to look at it and see what you want to do about this. I really do not know what other leaders in the organization thought about me. My boss, he called me and immediately appreciated it, saying that I appreciate as a guardian of policies, we need to be following and we need to walk the talk first. And even he apologized saying that, yes, as a leader of the function, he went ahead not followed that policy. Not only that, I felt trying to go well, you, when I felt that was given a success to me was when my immediate boss left and joined another organization where there is a vacancy came in and he immediately called me, come and uh, give an interview. I gave an interview. In fact, his boss in that organization did not like me. Later, I came to know about that. He rejected me, but my immediate boss hired me there. He told me, I asked him, saying that what made him to hire me in the new organization? He brought in this incident which had happened in that organization. That is where I felt staying true to your core value is success. Sometimes it is difficult. I know it is. It is. I remember another incident also when I was working in the corporate. One of the corporate's value was the 
integrity, wherein we don't bribe or give any unfavorable favorable things to do them, get the work done. Almost one and a half years, every day, we had been to the telephone exchange to get the connection done without paying anything to those people. We wasted a time. It is not so easy. But at the end of it, it gives you a lot of satisfaction to you. The third one, obtaining happiness from achieving your goals. Yes, we need to celebrate. There are milestones, various milestones. When you set a goal, will be there. You need to celebrate. See, I said yesterday I put a message saying that I have 100 days I could able to walk 10,000 steps without a break, which is an achievement towards my health goal. I celebrated with my dear and near one and my like-minded community. And here, I told you in the first attempting to move forward that manual part of it, once I created it was ready and we published it, Instead of we celebrating, that point of time, I didn't know how to celebrate the things. But my CEO taught me that. He used to take that manual, what we created, when he was having a discussion with the project people, project managers. He used to say, look at a support function like administration and facilities has come up with a clear process document, in scope, out scope, as well as the service level agreement. That is, he celebrated and he also recognized entire team for doing that activity. That was the first time I remember an organization, a CEO taking us to the five-star Taj Hotel to celebrate that. And we celebrate, that's what happened. Success is you attempting to take that first step forward, staying true to your core belief, value, and also obtaining happiness from achieving your goal. It's not necessarily that the ultimate goal has to be achieved. There are many times we set milestones. How do we achieve those milestones and start moving ahead on that? So let me quickly give a brief about you. All of you have come and also watching me in YouTube live as well. I am Ram Ramkrishnan, the success coach and mentor. I had three and a half decades of corporate experience, global corporate, worked with eight different Indian and multinational organization, and five years as a consultant and success coach. I'm a TEDx speaker and author of two books, A Focus Five, A Practical Guide for Career Growth, a three-step framework for uh, the uh, growth. I focus on business. Academy professional coach certified, train the trainer and facilitate a certification from the middle at HR and CAMI and the teachers or leaders community. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People course I did through the Franklin Covey Institute and Organizational Transformation, the foundation course which I have done through the Project Management PMI Institute, Project Management Institute. So you all might be wondering what is that I have to talk about success. I started my career in 1984 when I landed to Bangalore as a part-time typist. From there, I moved up in my corporate career as an executive manager, general manager, assistant vice president, director, and vice president. I worked as a, for the third largest IT services company. And most of the company I worked are the Fortune 500 and either in big Indian multinational organization or the global organization. This was possible by me and it is possible by anyone. 
nothing secret about it. During the process, I have learned some of the thing which has worked for me. A typist moving up, working in the third largest IT services company as a vice president, managing 400 plus people, 8 million square foot of office area across the country is not the small thing. But in the process, what I have done was something has helped me. That is what I thought. I have taken so much of a time to achieve some of those milestones and successes. So when you are doing alone, when you are alone and taking the things, it takes time. I put this framework. If you ask me the framework which I am going to explain to you, Am I 100% clear on entire framework? And that? Yes, some of the framework I have used, some of the framework still I am learning and start working on it. But overall, this framework has really helped me a lot to move up and see, make success as a journey. That is where I put this as a concise thing for all of you to go through that. In this journey, I'm not alone. I would like to, with your permission, introduce my entire leadership card team. Kiran, Ashish, Devesh, and myself, during the pandemic, we started, we got together and we started this. And today is our second anniversary date as well. That is the great thing for us and we trained more than this is put at 2000 yesterday, we were looking at it, how many individuals' life we touched through our videos, through our Udemy courses, through our online courses. It is more than 10,000 individuals. I need to update this. That is That number was amazing to us as well. And we bring in an expertise in communication, finance, real estate management, operations, sales, GSI, services, and the transformation areas. Worked in diverse field of function, cumulatively we bring in 100 plus years of an experience. The uniqueness about us is each one of us come from a different background. So we are able to knit it all together and give you what you need, what as a person you need to work on it. Kiran comes from the academic and communication leadership background. Asis comes from the operational and financial leadership background. And they have those experiences and areas what they focus on. And I come from the service and transformational leadership. Sales and alliance is what Devesh Mohan brings in. And we put together an organization, what is that required or an individual, what they need. And we are able to understand based on our collective experience and provide solutions to you. Apart from this, Devesh Mohan as well as Kiran also ran a social entrepreneurship, which is the give back to the community. And I do on my own a trust with the joy of giving God's gift, wherein we help the students. What is that is done GBTC is through helping the people in the fifth standard write an entrance exam so that in Navodhya Vidyalaya, they get the education free up to the 10th standard. What I do through my uh, trust is helping those people not able to pay the school or college fee, mainly those people from the street side vendors or security housekeeping people who are not able to pay the fee or all of a sudden there's something had happened their family member not able to do we help them this is what we doing it we call ourselves as the problem solvers we focus on career and business growth stagnation address the things in that area that is what we look at the three-step success frame, framework is all about that. Struggling to achieve work-life balance. This is another major area. Many individual and corporate face this problem. We focus on that and help them. An interpersonal conflict. 
See, it is uh, not that I know all, you know all kind of a thing. How as an organization, interpersonally, how do we bring that interpersonal relationship so that we solve those conflict and move ahead? These are the areas we start working on it. Now, as our in our culture, we respect the guest participants investing time in our events and functions and honor them with a written gift. Likewise, I also have the written gift all of you to stay still end of this session today. The recording of this webinar, which is available to you for seven days, you can become Leadership Court Community WhatsApp group where you get to know a lot of things, the like-minded people. There is a saying, no? You are some total of the five people you normally interact. Then Udemy, free courses which you have. I will in a while give you these details. And 30 minutes of coaching session from me for any of the areas you wanted to work and look at it. These are the value worth 15,000 you get it. And these are some of the Udemy courses. You need no need to worry. I have your email ID which will be sent to you after the session is over you will get a personalized email daily how you can access and go through these courses and how you can get in case you wanted to do that free discovery session with me that is what you will do that so before we move on i wanted you to look at this 3.5 minutes video then i will take you through the rest of the course and i also there is a purpose with which i'm putting this video i want you to see this video then we will get on to the main topic it is Practical exposure rather than the book knowledge what we have it was a practical experience which will definitely will try to inbuild it and see what best can come out of us. Very insightful two days two different things to be learned and I love the punchline CRM today that skills can be evolved over a period of time but that attitude cannot come. So I think this uh, workshop actually helped us to develop that and think that we can be a leader. It was a very good session and honestly if I tell you like I was not like something called six hats it was the I mean existed. So yeah, probably now yeah, it was good. To learn something uh, which I maybe I have not yet experienced in my workspace or something. So I'll be prepared for it and this will give me more uh, knowledge on you know how to work with the team and collaborate and uh, share things and ideas. And uh, the six hats, six hats are good but I think we will be chugging around all the six hands, six hands and uh, come to a solution. But at least we will all learn the chugging. Uh, thanks for the process and, and I love it. Thank you. What I kind of learned mainly today was, uh, you know, a very important thing is risk management. By understanding the risk management, by risk factor, we can already have four plans in line. So, you know, one doesn't work, we definitely lay back on to the other. So that was something which was very important that I learned. So the session was uh, really fun filled. It was uh, it was having a lot of uh, interactions amongst the team uh, members. It, were, it had covered all the points what we had discussed. Um, so you've covered the entire it's course. Good. You have uh, delivered it beautifully and there was a lot of interaction which was really a must. There was not at all any um, what do you call uh, lecture or something? No, it, it was a good interactive session and we really loved it. Thank you very much. A lot of things from this training. First of all, being a new joinee, I hardly knew anyone here, but now I know almost everyone. Wow. So yes, I am being here. Thank you so much and thank you Lena for conducting this training. It was very helpful for me. And uh, I actually came to know a lot about my personality. Okay. So yeah, it is a... Use the strategy, where should I use the facts? Or... Then from a personality background, it was really helpful to knowing ourselves which uh, part of thing is more influential for us and what is our progress and what is the how to interact with other people. Different different scenario for the communication as I come to here, I understand 
what is the exact communication, how we have to communicate with the people so that you made a, a different kind of uh, study material to us uh, with your experience. So thanks to that. So, why success? That is the question which all will be there. Success provides confidence, security, a sense of well-being, the ability to contribute at greater level, hope and leadership. As all of us need to look at and having those milestones of success make success as a journey. As we complete two years, one of the reasons I put this also is we have done, touched the life of people. There is something, even though we had a complete, we had a target of touching 1 million people, as of now, we have done about 10,000 people, which is good. And we are making a progress towards that and reaching the goal. So you need to look at and cherish those moments all the time, whatever you do are the milestones of successes. So have that thing in mind. That is where success we need to make as a habit and success is a journey and we should start enjoying it, not considering success as a one-time thing. So then the question comes in is, always we know we are here and I wanted to go there. How will I go? This is the big question to be answered is how? So here again, a life story from my end, my personal life. I recall uh, when I was living in 2001, the organization where I was working and moving to Hyderabad, since I worked almost seven years in that organization, everybody got together and they given a farewell to me. A lunch, farewell lunch we all had. Everyone was together. At the end of it, they invited me to give a speech. Normally, I thanked them and told them another thing. And I made a thing, commitment also telling them, I am going to write a book. In 2001, when I was leaving that organization. After that, many years passed. My first book came out in 2015. Now, you know, 14 years I will be procrastinating it. I have not done anything about it. Then, one fine day, it occurred to me when I was going through some course, it occurred to me. Yes, I made a commitment in front of the people who worked dear and near to me for seven years. Now, I have been cheating them every day. Then I decided, what is that I need to do? Make this as a reality. In 2014, I remember it was 2013 and or 14. I was part of one of the facilities management association, FM Zoom, they used to call at that point of a time. I know all those founders who were there and we used to work very closely, many things. I wrote a, an email to them saying that, kindly declare Monday as a knowledge sharing day. Starting this Monday, I wrote this mail on a Friday to them. And I told them, coming, starting from coming Monday, every Monday, I'm going to write an article and you publish it. That's what I said and told them 
and made the recommitted again myself to do that by the time i put in another 10 14 years of service industry i was well respected and all were there then this commitment made me saying that i need to work on it i said for 52 weeks without a break every week i wrote an article at the end of the year i had 52 chapters ready to get a book published but i didn't do 52 chapter i did only 35 chapter that is the book you are going to get as a gift today which you will have it this is a focus why a practical guide for career growth so you need to take those small steps start working on it and have those accountability partners and commit up front somewhere what is that you want to do work and do it and this how part of it is what gets covered in the three step success framework we will look at that little while from now even to take another very very simple example today we say that uh, you have the ola uber or swiggy zomato or any of those things are there first thing you need to today tell is very clearly your destination where you want right you are here and you want to go there and what you want and how you want what are the thing all has to be told right otherwise things will not happen so that is the one part of the how we will discuss more in detail in a while from now then another thing is i want all of you to look at we generally what we do is this volatility is something we feel the situation during the pandemic things are volatile and any point of a time we will say that as yes, is the situation right can i start working on it can i start doing it see even you take the health goal also there are certain people i know they say if it is summer they say it is too sunny i can't walk if it is winter they say it is too cold i can't walk if it is monsoon they say that it is too rainy i can't walk but you need to have that vision what is that you want to do how do you convert that volatility into a vision you create that compelling vision is most important the leadership card is born during the volatile situation during the pandemic peak of the pandemic we four of us got together through some of the common forum we saw some common interest and each were trying to do something then we got together and we said that why don't you cre- we create a vision saying that we are going to help the leaders in the age group of 30 to 45 years to unlocking their hidden potential by getting out of their comfort zone to realize their dreams that is what we put as a vision we said that we need to go ahead and move on that and today we touched 10000 people till now then second lot of uncertainty we say that you no know, when anything we wanted to do something which gets into our mind is it's an uncertain world i don't know things will be the same now to hence five years all those question of uncertainty comes that you have to make kind of an understanding again the leadership card we got together we got to understand each other what we wanted to do so when we four people without meeting getting together there's a lot of uncertainty whether x y z will help be committed to do the things and we are together two years now and we are looking at many more years to go ahead and achieve our vision uncertainty was there how you get into an understanding of saying that yes i will be able to do this you will be able to do this. that's where i put their picture also saying that what is that they do each one bring in an expertise how do we leverage on each person's expertise and start making that understanding then complexity to clarity 
again, we are all in a complex world. If you look at the training, coaching, mentoring as a thing, what we do, it is it is like really a red ocean kind of a thing. Red ocean is something there are many people doing a similar kind of an activity. What is that difference we bring in? We are saying we unlock your hidden potential. We are saying you have the potential and you need someone to help you to unlock that potential. After that, you are you are won and you can start flying in colors. Then ambiguity to agility. There will be a lot of ambiguity will be there. What people spend a lot of time is it's a volatile situation, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity is there. That is where we start spending too much of a time. I want each one of you listening to this video and watching here, look at how you can create that volatility into vision. You know, during the pandemic, the healthcare industry is leaps and bounds, it is grown, and the training industry leaps and bounds, it is grown. And there are many industries related to that is also grown. How do you make uncertainty to an understanding? You sit and talk and things will come. Complexity, always at the face of it, you look at looks things are complex. How do you bring that clarity? And ambiguity to agility. So one of the things is when we started, we were having everything completely online. And still we have an online. And we have some of the companies want an in-person, some companies want an hybrid kind of a thing and we are agile doing that and we also say we are not only do training we do coaching we do mentoring there's a different kind of a stream relating to what is that we do for unlocking potential it can be done in different ways that is where the different product different things with which you get start doing the things so look at how do you convert your volatility to a vision, uncertainty to an understanding, complexity to a clarity, and ambiguity to agility. It requires time. It is not going to be easy as you see in the slide. You need time to be spent. We had spent months together. And even this year also, before we get on to the second year, we got together and we start looking at the vision, understanding, the clarity, and agility of what is that we wanted to do. It's an ongoing exercise as well, right? So you want to know success principle and you want to understand what are those uh, things. Today, I say that there is tons of material available, right from the your uh, various social medias and other things to the books. There are so many things definitely available for you to go through that. What we are going to talk about today is you need to take action. How do you take this action in the right direction? Right? That's an important thing. You have to take action. That action, what action you are taking is to be in the right direction. It should not be in the First picture, the person wants to go. He's also running, but he wants to re run on the opposite side so that he reaches the destination. That is the right direction. If he is not running that, doing that, then he may not reach the right direction. So that's what in the rest of the session today we will discuss about it. This is the three step success framework. The three-step success framework starts with the health check. Always it is important. We know you go to a doctor. Doctor, when he is doing a health check, he doesn't just listen to you saying that you are having a headache, you are having a fever, you are having that problem, this problem immediately start prescribing the medicine. He spends time for you to explain the things understand it from you, saying that what is it going on? What are those symptoms you have? What is that? That is what he goes through, the complete exercise. Plus, he also prescribed certain tests which needs to be done, certain uh, the uh, parameters to be checked. 
after that starts prescribing the medicine so similarly here the health check starts with that kind of a thing then getting into an agile implementation once you understood where you are what is that then start acquiring the knowledge one other thing is getting out of the comfort zone which is most important when you are wanting to make a change any change is not an easy thing and we face that problem and you need to be agile get out of the comfort zone the great example to give from my personal life is in the 2018 when i came out i wanted to become a coach mentor and trainer one of the thing which was required was i little bit fine tune my communication skills i have to go to a places like those masters or the person who are 10 15 years younger to me and learn from them that is getting out of the comfort zone whatever i talk they look at and give me certain kind of a feedback and improvements needs to be done it's not so easy in initially to accept i also went through the resistance then i have to accept it if i wanted to grow i need to look at those improvements and start moving ahead then the real time transformation is learning in motion it is not that one time whatever you do it you need to start learning in motion and make the implement the things and course corrections and start move ahead let us look at what is that you need to do with respect to the health check you can do your personality assessment today there are various tools which is available if you put a personality assessment free test you can do it will give a result you can look at those result and there are things in that is one is understanding your own personality trait it has got four this dominance influence compliance uh, and steadiness what is your personality trait is then each personality traits comes with always there is good there is something bad both are there in that and we need to understand that so that when you are working and dealing with the team you are able to do it better then not only that you interact with the team and multiple number of people how you communicate with the different kind of a personality of the people this is what discussed in this section of personality assessment and you are free to join with us at the end of it i will offer you what is that we have then understanding self how much of a time we spend to understand ourselves one way of doing is the 360 degree feedback i did this 360 feedback well before when i was working in corporate and getting to the people i used to ask my wife i used to ask my colleagues i used to ask the people what i used to tell them is in a paper you write it anonymously you put it i don't want your name what is that i need to improve that is the 360 degree feedback today in big corporate people will do with lot of tools that is the different thing but you can do this 360 degree feedback with a simple thing like the person whom you work with ask them not to write their name tell them what is that you are doing good where you wanted to improve then ask your uh, bosses and people some of those uh, peers their feedback whom ever you wanted to take it and start working on it then there is a thing called zohari window we will also you can look at it something is known to you not known to others there are hidden things which is there you need to understand that that is what we need to understand and finally the niche niche is something this i will help through there are two things one is there is a niche niche identification thing if you are getting into a business or wanting to do something or even working in a corporate also you need to understand what are few things you are good at when i was working in corporate i have been recognized for one of the thing is customer centricity then dependability 
these are some few things, which is the people management. So this, when you know about your understanding yourself, you are able to do the things in better way. That's what it helps. Then the SWOT analysis. There is a notion saying that SWOT analysis is only done for companies, not for individual, which is not true. SWOT analysis, you can do with your own strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat. You need to do that. Well, before I understood this SWOT technology, what I have been doing in my diaries from the beginning was I used to write what is that I am good at? What is that I need to start improving? What is that some of the opportunities with the organization has got? What is that some of the threats, risks I am taking it? All you start looking at, analyzing it. And when you come with us, we have a structured process through that. We will take you through for going through that and understanding your strength, weakness, opportunities, and threat analysis. And whatever I am today in front of talking to you is this one tool is a very powerful tool. Always I keep doing it every six months and fine tuning myself as a new person. Third one is the understanding the mindset. The mindset is something is very, very critical one. It plays a crucial role in shaping our thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and ultimately our outcome in life. A simple thing like you say, you start labeling someone, he is a cribbing person. All the time you see, your mind says he is a cribbing person. That's not true. There are some good things in a person is also there. And whatever your mind, you start thinking, you start creating, you are constantly, you start appreciating it, that's what appreciates. So your unconscious mind doesn't know something is good or bad. What you feed through your conscious mind constantly becomes, registers in unconscious mind. How smokers become saint smokers? They believe that smoking is good, drinking is good. Nothing happens. And over a period of time, that becomes a problem. The paradigm with which you look at things, what you see is what you start doing and what you start doing is what you get end result. This is the paradigm which gets explained by Stephen Covey also. We will look at that. Paradigm with which you see the things is what you start doing it. And the result depends on what is that exactly. You do it. So this is the on the health check. These are the four modules. And this is on the online learning as well as of now, which I will later talk about to you. So I am giving it to you, all the detail. And if you think that you can on your own work, and I am not saying that you need to stick to leadership card or RAM and learn this. You can learn from anywhere, you are going to be successful. That is not the constraint. And if you happen to be associated with us, we welcome you and we are happy to help you in that direction. Right. Now, moving on to the next one, the Agile implementation. First thing is you need to set goals. You need to know what you are aiming for. Goalless life is the directionless ship on the sea. What happens? It will be sailing all the places. It might get damaged. It might not reach any port. And you need to set your goals using the smart principle using the methods that is good to you. That is an important thing you need to do that. Then, once you set the goal, it should not be like your New Year resolution next day, you forget about it. It should be on your priority. How do you prioritize? Priority management 
there are different stakeholders in priority management. Many times when people working in organization think that only priority is the company. Company is one of the priority because they pay salary. Your family, your neighbors, relatives, friends, all there are different stakeholders are there. How do you work and put priority, prioritize your time so that you get what is important, get done for you. And decision making. As a leader, we all need to make decisions. How you go about systematically gathering that information, analyzing the alternative, pros and all con helps the pros and cons, helps you to make the right decision. I give you another story here, real life. So when we, when I was uh, corporate real estate hired wanted to manage the merger of the two organizations as part of our pieces, consolidating the real estate in India. Normally, when multinational organization is there, what happens is from the corporate, they push it to get the things done. As part of the decision-making process, I sought a little bit of a time from the management and I put together, looking at the pros and cons of the decision, what is that corporate is given? What is that all ultimate goal of reaching a certain target of saving is given? We are not going to change that. Keeping that as a constant, how we can work on it with the pros and cons. Looked at the pros and cons where something can't be done by recommended by the corporate. We worked on alternative. We gave them that alternative and with that, a mutually acceptable decision which has emerged and we were able to achieve the goal in the six months of time and achieve the targeted results of $10 million saving as well. So that is what the decision making plays a key role. Otherwise, what happens is you keep fuming yourself, accepting the corporate decision, not able to achieve certain results. That's what will happen. And the fourth one on the agile implementation is effective negotiation. From my our birth to the last breath, we negotiate with someone or the other. Morning we get up, we go to the bed, we keep negotiating with people. How do you find the better alternative Sometimes a better alternative to the negotiated agreement is required. And zone of possible agreement. You think of all your offers you got from an organization and joined the organization, or you gave an offer to somebody, he joined to work with you, accepted to work with you. What is ultimately has happened? There is a zonal of possible agreement, right? How do you achieve that? So agile implementation is something you are not rigid about it. You set goal. You need to review some point of a time. Start looking at do that. Priority management, the decision making, and effective negotiation. So you negotiate with the people. Something better comes in. Then start looking at how do you reset the thing so that ultimate goal you achieve. So this is what you we look at as part of the. Agile implementation. Then comes the real time transformation RT. We call this the he art. Heart. Governance. One of the things all you have done, one thing you need to look at is you need to have those governance mechanism through which you have those checks and balances whether things are happening. Sometimes there may be a roadblock, constraint people will face. How do you clear that? That is where the governance structure helps. And you need to understand how do you program management, piloting, and handholding. All these things comes as part of the governance. So we look at as part of these things in the governance. Then effective communication. 
when someone gets the things done the way you wanted them to do, when your communication is effective, what you are communicating is precisely clear for him saying that he or she can do exactly the way you wanted to do. That is where the communication plays a key role. Then change management. Change management is what is constant in this world is the change, right? It all starts with the denial, then it gets on to the resistance, then move towards exploration, finally lands into the commitment. See this, as part of my corporate career, one point of a time, we had a three divisions, all grown big. One is the IT division, another is the IT products division, another is oh, now the BPO. All were, even though they were operating in one location, they were having the different processes and system when it comes to the administration. My task was to combine everything as one administration. The first thing, it all starts with the denial. People say that, why? It's all working fine. What is wrong with it? Then resistance. When I wanted to do something, people will resist, saying that, no, here we don't work like this. This is the way we work on it. And I have to slowly make them understand the what is in it for me. So basically, you know, any change comes and we ask this question, what is in it for me? Why do, should I change? We have to ask this, what is in it for me for a different stakeholder? How do you do that? That is what gets dealt as part of the change management. Finally, all can be achieved. You have your vision is clear. What is that vision you wanted to create for yourself and where you want to see down the lane five years from now, 10 years from now, what is that you wanted to do that? This is the three-step success framework. And all this framework I've used it multiple times and I use it you now also to do that. So you can take a screenshot of this if you wanted to do. That's as I said that you think you have all the resources, everything that can help you to go through this. I'm happy. I'm not insisting that you need to come and learn only from me. I only know this. I can teach you based on my experience, our experience from the leadership card experience, if you come to us. And if you want to learn from someone, they will teach based on their experience and other thing. There is nothing wrong in it. And you can learn or even won't. That is great. Nothing. So with your permission, if you want to come with us, how we can, before that, I wanted to present a few of the I definitely present when you want to come with us, how you can, what is that you need to do. Before that, I want you to understand some of these case studies. Vina is from the hospitality industry from Manipal. She came to us, she was super confused during directionless because hotel was 100% vacant during the pandemic time. That is the time she came in to us. So we onboarded her, gone through our courses, different courses, coaching. With that, she is able to increase her business 10x level, open the three new businesses. How our thing has helped us to identify a simple thing like Google reviews. She was not having it. She started having that. Her hotel got known to the people and start working on it. And she expanded her business, Veena Travels and uh, Banquet. That is where she was able to branch out by going through some of those programs and the details. That has really helped us. We are very proud of her, what she is doing it today. And today, she can teach 100,000 people how to do the thing, the concept which she has learned from us. Then I wanted you to see this is a 3.5 minutes video. There are two gentlemen giving us 
some testimonials to us on our work what we have done i got an opportunity to attend a workshop on personal transformation organized by leadership card it was a wonderful learning experience for me from that program the program was designed not only for working professionals for corporate but the program was designed for a professionals across industries i was amazed to see the in depth and rich experience and the energy level from the coaches like ram ramakrishnan kiran deep sandhu ashish datta and devesh mohan these four leaders take us through their own experience while delivering each and every module of the leadership card program the workshop was very interactive there was an opportunity for every individual to share their own experience and challenges in their journey and get to hear the thoughts and various techniques and tools to address those challenges some of the interesting topics were leading self swot analysis goal setting vision boards and personal branding one of the unique experience for me after attending this workshop was the continuity from the coaches how they will continue to follow up with you help you to continue to learn even after the workshop overall it was a fantastic experience and i wish leadership card organization all the best and many more success in their upcoming workshops and trainings thank you leadership card is very close to my heart leadership card is a part of my professional success my life i can split before leadership card after leadership card after joining the leadership card i have improved a lot how to handle the people how to manage the team how to handle the conflict management each and every situation how to analyze this i am applying this what analysis so each and i can say definitely is a continuous process and also is a life learning experience i got it from the leadership card and the important thing is every week they are taking the sessions so I keep on attending the sessions and motivate myself and I keep on improving myself the important thing is i will get the personal attention from the each and every one of the leadership card things leadership card they are the author of the book and they are the tedx speakers they are comes with the vast experience like management ceo cfo and the entrepreneur and the sales background and the communication specialist they are the very good they have the very good strong credibility so when i'm looking at the people i'm getting inspired and i start to join these sessions i'm getting the benefit of the leadership card thank you so this is some of the testimonials from our other uh, clients and people as well they all talk good about what is that how we were able to part of unlocking their hidden potential now you wanted to continue this journey with us how you can do that three step success framework online workshop this is completely we have currently as part of the udemy shortly we will have as part of our learning management system which you are working on it which would come very about in a month's time or so part 1 is the level 1 is health level, part health check part 2 is the agile implementation part 3 is the real time transformation and part 1 health check which is on the udemy now it is selling at 399 as a price as all of you are attending here as the online seminar at the special price for that at the 50% discount is 1999 
you pay, then you can take part one health check, the complete course, wherein that four topics has been covered. The personality assessment, understanding self, and SWOT analysis, and how to set the mindset, right kind of a mindset. This is what you can do that. What I will do is in the chart, I will put it in case you wanted to register, you can use it. There is a discount code is also there, which you can use that and do that. The next one, this is all something you get as a bonuses when you join this course, lifetime access to the course, reading material, and lifelong access to the WhatsApp group, separate group is getting created for that. And our personal coaching which is of 10,000 rupees you get as free. Monthly group coaching and Q&A. And accountability partner. Overall, 26,500 as a bonus, you get it. Plus invaluable. So all this thing on a lifelong access, Q&A, accountability partner and all. You can't put any kind of a value into that. Another rule, you want to start first step as a coaching. You want to discuss with me personal coaching. The original price we charge one hour for our 10,000 rupees. But I am giving for the online seminar. You all spend one and a half hours or so with me to understand it as a discounted price. For that also I had put a link. Then we can have a coaching because now I am a coach transformation certified coach. Apart from that, I have also taken some of the coaching techniques and principles from industry veterans and as well as I am getting into an ICF certification as well. This is for the personal coaching, which you can do that. Here you get two hours of a coaching. One hour is understanding your, your problem and discovery. Then one hour coaching, that's what you pay. For that also, I have put the link there. You can decide which one you wanted to work with me. Even if you are not working with me also, you can have part of our group community wherein you start gaining, getting the knowledge share. Why card? We challenge leaders and entrepreneurs to come out of their comfort zone and unlocking their potential to realize their dreams. That's what we do it. Our journey so far, how do you continue? You can attend our card hour, which is every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30. One of the coaches comes and shares on an interesting topic, share our knowledge. Then three-step success framework, which you can continue. Module-based training and women leadership program. An online self-based training program, which you can work on it. So leadership card workshop, various workshop which we do. Apart from this, these are all the details. Depending on the need, we work on it and do that. This is some of the photographs of our program in person and online. As I said, you are attending the bonus. These are the bonuses. You get it. We will send through the email. We have the email ID. We will send it through the email, the detail, how you can access and get about these benefits. And this link also will be sent in the email, which you can do that for the 30 minutes of a discovery session. I thank you all for attending today's session. We come with 300 years of cumulative experience, works in diverse field, bring in global and India experience. Card is knowledge, accomplish, reflect, and develop. Basically, you get gain knowledge, accomplish for yourself, and reflect on your team and develop your team like what Vina is currently doing. We help unlocking your hidden potential. We focus on leadership training, leadership coaching, and leadership mentoring. You can contact, these are my contact number and the email ID. Now, if you have any questions on the topics, whatever I have covered till now, I'm happy to take and answer it.
Hello, sir. Yes. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Yes, yes. Uh, this is really, uh, really a wonderful session, especially covering three step success techniques and uh, uh, key, key insights. I especially like uh, that Hoka model, like vision. Yes. Yes. Volatility, and vision, uncertainty, volatility, understanding. Yes. 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 And uh, it it certainly helps to overcome the resistance, uh, resistive mindset, and understand the concept of the agility to keep moving ahead. And uh, I realized these uh, present situations in the organization, and uh, every time we are thinking that uh, it is the resistance from the top side. However, we have to apply this technique to keep moving ahead and ahead till we achieve the goal uh, and transform it into the success. So this is really, really a great learning for me. And I completely associated this learning with uh, ongoing situation in the organization. Thank you yeah. for... Uh, I said at the beginning of it, now you were spending the time one and a half hour with me. You will always go with some kind of a learning that is for a short. We talk based on our experience, what does it work for us, not from the textbook is kind of a thing. No? So that you get some of the things are real and good. You can be also implemented. It, it is the thing. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yes. And it is mainly uh, the thing that initial stage is certainly a denial. The second stage would be the resistance and third stage would be the People start understanding what exactly it is. Is it interesting? Yes. Is it adding, adding? Yeah, you start audience? answering that question of what is in it for me. So everyone looks, that is the one as we don't uh, look at that moment. You start looking at what is in it for me. Many times we make a mistake also that what is in it for me is common for everybody. That is not. Yes, very true. Very See, true. When I was doing a consolidation of the project, the immediate team, what is in it for me is different to the leadership team at the top level, right? Yes, yes. You need to address that. That is what you need to, as a leader, look at and address when you understand uh, the things that things will become much better and you're able to make it. Yes. And uh, considering this point, uh, I'm presently formulating one project, mission project which is for the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. It is mainly associated with science and technology development. So uh, I, uh, I took initiative. I contacted all my friends, colleagues in the CSIR network, and uh, uh, I convinced them to come forward so that we can prepare a mission project concept note, and which would be, uh, which would be prepared at the ground level and based on the in principle approval from the director, we will submit to the ministry for their consent and interest. We have to understand the consent and interest of the funding agency, not our interest that we are scientists and give us fund. It, it, it would not work and it never works. So mm -hmm. we have to propose them and in our concept note, we have to mention what are the things which interest them? Yeah, the communication. So no, these things up, are. Yeah, as you go up on the ladder, so how do you communicate matters? Mm -hmm. So one of the things is when communication normally share this story, I did do it today. But one of the things is, see, it may when a higher level. I, I was working in one organization, a multinational company. These guys were budgeting the uh, some of the 10 crores of a capital expenditure spent for the last four years. Mm -hmm. But they were never getting an approval from the management because of the lack of communication. How do you put that justification and do that? When I started looking at it and I wrote one page of an email with giving pros and cons of saying that, you know, saying that, yes, why we need to spend if we remain in condition, what will happen? By way of doing it, what is the benefit we are getting it? And we got this 10 crore approved in one place yes. email. So that is where you need to look at the communication is also at a different level. How do you communicate? It is so very important because yes. 
please permit me to complete yeah. yes it is very important i have prepared that concept note and approached my group head okay initially he thought the concept note is like why i am preparing that thing what is my interest okay then i made him many times uh, over a period of say last four weeks and uh, last meeting while last discussion i learned that he was considering that the concept note is prepared for our own csir organization headquarter it is the general mindset of csir directors and the group heads whatever the mission projects we are formulating it is completely for the csir this is the first time and last many times i tried to convince him that it is not for csir headquarter it is for the sponsored agency in our organization it is to the sponsoring agency so this last meeting two days back i clearly clearly uh, conveyed him it is for the sponsoring agency and not for the csir headquarter okay and then he realized oh this is for the sponsoring agency then go 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 and submit it that is that is so correct the earlier register now yes as if it is for the csir means it is the all authorities of the csir dg director and group head okay they tries to see ki you know authorization kind of thing that yesterday's your linkedin uh, video so yeah. then i i clearly convinced him that it is not uh, for the csir headquarter so it is for the sponsoring agency and nothing has to do with the csir then i prepared a note and now next stage i am going to talk to him and get his approval so that it can uh, be given to the directors in principle approval so whatever we are sending to the other ministry it must be uh, it must be in principle approved by our director so i am in that stage now and i have experienced all these things whatever you have said uh, uh, denial resistance mm. and then because of the leadership learning Uh, i always get myself in agile mode that second uh, second column mm -hmm. agile mode and i i applied all the learnings of leadership skills let me tell you one thing uh, i attended the first module of leadership card i learned many things of the team building conflict management and uh, time management priority management really uh, really speaking and coming to you is that i i asked my brother to send me the dark hole book from pune to pilani i received that book in the last week i reread it and i revised all the concepts of those things self uh, self awareness self control and self uh, uh, introspection and all those things assertiveness then all all the, the learnings i have recorded back because i am undergoing through the uh, the same stage of the preparation of the a uh, project that uh, forming storming norming and performing so i am in the forming stage so these things are re really really helpful uh, for any any leader working in the organization and especially for the new learners it is really benefiting this is what my my submission is what do you say thank you thank you thank you for that that is nice so communication also there are many things which is there you need to look at right from your subject line onwards how do you start and how do you end it and also you need to sometime understand the that is where the diff, there are various things come whatever we have done based on our research we put this you need to understand the personality trait of person you are dealing with basis that you yes. to craft your communication if you are going for a compliance person he wants to know a lot of data and you need to have the data and you are going to a person who is the dominant and influenced person your communication has to be a totally a different thing he doesn't want to look yes. at data he wants to look at different things so that is where we need to start uh, looking at so that is where it is good you are a testimony to whatever is learned you can implement it immediately in your workplace on a day to day basis which is going to be giving the results to you you can see the results immediately you are saying what is and it happening? is not only the uh, it is not only the learning modules and then forgetting yes. it is the process 
I'm undergoing and I am facing that thing. Oh, this is the thing is going on. I am recalling all the concepts of the leadership learnings and I start, I immediately start applying them and I'm benefiting. I start, uh, I am experiencing, I'm getting the benefit out of it. Great. Yes, that communication is very important. Communication is very important. And before meeting, preparation is highly important. Yeah. Good. Anything else there? I see Karunanadi is there. Hi. Uh, 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 good morning, uh, Ram. Yeah. Uh, it was an inter interesting session. So I am from uh, Sagerity India Private Limited. Earlier it was called as Sindhija Global Solutions. Okay. Uh, you would have heard about it. We are in uh, Hosur Road. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we have a lot of uh, common friends. Uh, I moved uh, precisely on 2019 October. So mm -hmm. I started interacting with uh, Bangalore uh, leadership team also. It was a nice, uh, uh, people are accommodative. And uh, see, accommodation, again, it uh, comes from how you behave also. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, the leadership uh, sharing knowledge, uh, we are, uh, you and me are, uh, Part of various groups also, IFMG, um, GACS, and all. So I think GACS, you are there, I believe. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Thank you. I hope you got some learning today. That is good for me for spending the time on Sunday. I'm happy about it. And you can think through how you wanted to get associated with us if you need anything. If you are there any point of a time for you, yeah. for your organization. We can work on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, normally I used to say to my team, uh, it says uh, there's a saying now: charity starts at home. So mm -hmm. before teaching anything, we need to learn. So people should not target uh, to retire uh, as a VP mm -hmm. or a GM, uh, transport or admin, but they should scale up. And now the ESG is the biggest uh, mm -hmm. happening uh, thing. So. I tell people to learn something on a daily basis, but unfortunate. Uh, I shared it a little late in the night, so I don't know uh, how many people see uh, seen this uh, um, Zoom link. So anyway, let's see. Uh, I'll send session. you next time. I'll do it every month, two days, two Sundays, this session. Yeah, yeah. You can ask mm -hmm. them to come in next month when I'm doing it. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. share it with you. You can ask them to come. Hmm? Nice, nice, Ram. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. And with this, we will end the session today.